Hey guys, what's up? This is your captain. How are you guys doing? So today I'm back again with the awesome with with awesome concept called as ortho effect. I will be teaching you what is ortho effect, how it is applied in you know aromatic benzoic acids or benzoic acids I should say. And we, we will discuss some questions after this concept building. We will do that in the next session. So you have to stay tuned for both the sessions. Okay. So let us start without wasting any time. Let's hop into it. ठीक है, so first thing, if I talk about aromatic acids, boys and girls, if you notice, benzoic acid, if it is having a electron withdrawing group attached at any position, it will be more acidic as compared to benzoic acid itself, and this benzoic acid would be more acidic as compared to those benzoic acid in which an electron releasing group is present. Boys and girls, if you notice, I have written here meta and para, I have not mentioned ortho, I have not mentioned ortho. तो ध्यान देना, we will discuss why. देखो अब मुझे एक छोटा सा यहां पे बेटा एक करेक्शन कर लेना दिस मेटा एंड पैरा कैपिटल एम नहीं आना चाहिए एवरीथिंग इज स्मॉल दिस इज ऑल स्मॉल ठीक है सो डू नॉट जज मी फॉर दैट इट इज ऑल स्मॉल ये थोड़ा सा मिस्टेक हो गया है कोई इशू नहीं और तो मेटा पैरा सब छोटा होता है छोटे से रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं दैट सेट अच्छा तो बेटा ये क्या हुआ हमने देखा कि इफ इलेक्ट्रॉन रिलीजिंग ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट एट मेटा एंड पैरा देन यू नो द एसिडिक स्ट्रेंथ डिक्रीज इज बट इफ इट इज एट इट इज एट ऑर्थो पोजिशन No matter if it is present at ortho position, an electron releasing group is also there. Acidic strength is going to be more. That is nothing but ortho effect. When a group is present at ortho position of benzoic acid, then irrespective of its nature, whether it is electron releasing or electron donating, generally increases acidic strength as compared to benzoic acid itself. इसी चीज को बोला जाता है ortho effect. If you have a group at ortho position of the benzoic acid, irrespective of its nature. it is going to increase the elect you know uh, acidic strength of the benzoic acid now why it is happening we shall discuss so so samajhte hain aisa kyun ho raha hai bahut hi amazing hai ye dhyan se sunenge sare bahut amazing hai ye dekho beta ye cheez samjhane ki koshish kari if a group is attached whether it is electron releasing or electron withdrawing at ortho position this is our ortho position it will be more acidic as compared to benzoic acid itself the reason to it is there are two reasons actually SIR steric inhibition to resonance sir hai na SIR steric inhibition to resonance and electronic factors so first time teaching SIR ye hota kya hai wo samjha raha hu zara samna dekho beta this is our benzoic acid ye hamara benzoic acid hai oxygen has a lone pair this lone pair will be involved in conjugation just like this check this out theek hai to yahan par you will get a negative charge and just like this you will get now what is an acid which can fire h plus very easily जो जल्दी से H प्लस फायर कर दे उसे बोलोगे ये तो बहुत एसिडिक है यही तो होता है द स्पीशी विच कैन फायर H प्लस वेरी इजिली वी विल से इट इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड तो बेटा ये जो है इफ यू नोटिस ऑक्सीजन हैज अक्वायर्ड पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑक्सीजन हैज अक्वायर्ड पॉजिटिव चार्ज विच इज नॉट अ स्टेबल कंडीशन इट वॉन्ट्स टू गेट रिड ऑफ दिस पॉजिटिव चार्ज बाय फायरिंग H प्लस ये अपना पॉजिटिव चार्ज से मुक्ति चाहता है बाय फायरिंग H प्लस बट बेटा वॉट विल हैपन इन द केस ऑफ बेन्जोइक एसिड there is a slight you know there is a remote possibility that back donation from the ring happens itself before the firing of h plus so it will inhibit the firing of h plus or it will delay the firing of h plus agar delay ho gayi to kya wo h plus acid matlab jo compound hai kya wo zyada acidic hoga it would not be much acidic because we were you know acidic strength is nothing but how easily or how fast it fires h plus this tendency of firing h plus is actually you know prohibited because of the possibility there is a remote possibility that the benzene ring fire will fire electron density neutralizing this positive charge so the tendency to fire h plus will decrease theek hai yahi hota hai theek hai so there is a slight delay in h plus firing but boys and girls zara dhyan dena bahut important but when you have a group at ortho position just like this in your benzoic acid what will happen this group will cause repulsion and causes this particular coh to go out of plane this coh group will go out of plane yahan par bhi bilkul wahi same cheez hogi this lone pair will undergo resonance like this aise karke so positive charge will come on this oxygen this oxygen wants to fire h plus to you know to, to get rid of this 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 oxygen wants to fire h plus to get rid of rid of this positive charge but there will not be any kind of remote possibility that back donation will happen nahi hoga ऐसा क्यों बैक डोनेशन क्यों नहीं होगा बिकॉज दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर सीओ एच दिस पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप 
has gone out of play. So the remote possibility of you know back donation of the electron by the benzene ring is no lo longer there. So it will fire kar dega. That's why if you have a group irrespective of its nature at ortho position in a benzoic acid, acidic strength is surely going to increase. Kya main apni baat samjha paya? Kya main apni baat clear kar paya? To clear hua ki kyu aisa hota hai? Ab dekho. Ab bache ke dimag mein kya aata hai? Ki sir, SIR samajh aa gaya steric inhibition of resonance isi ko bolte hain, samajh aa gaya. Ab bachcho se poocha jaye ki jara ek baat batao. Ek question aa gaya phir. Ek question aaya ki aapko do compounds de diye dono hi ortho effect ho raha hai. To bachche ne dimag mein lagaya ki sir Jitna zyada bulky compound, jitna zyada bada compound, if compound is very heavy the, at ortho position, if the group is very heavy I should say, at ortho position it will cause more repulsion. So ortho effect would be more. So I started, they started thinking actually, not me, you guys. Many of you started thinking ki yaar, acidic strength should be like this. But to our surprise, acidic strength was this. Iska matlab, SIR is not the whole soul criteria for judging the acidic strength in aromatic acids. Iska matlab, there is another reason. Another reason is electronic factors. Another reason is electronic factors. So how do we get the correct answer for this particular question comes from electronic factor. Now let's take care of it. Let's understand. Look, son. This is your ortho effect. Here it is. This oxygen, you know, what will happen? COOH will fire its H+. It will fire its H+. So based, because of this, you know, it will get equal RS. Minus half, minus half charge will be spread. Here you have oxygen. Hai. Correct? Oxygen and OH. This will form a hydrogen bonding. Hai? This will, you know, stable the anion, stronger the acid. How do you check acidic strength? Kya kaam karo? Fire kar do H plus ko. Fire the H plus. Whatever the species you will get afterwards, that is an anion. Stable the anion, stronger the acid. Ye acidic strength nikalne ka nara hai. Moto hai, ise yaad kar lo. Ye nara hai yaad kar lo. Hai? So stable the anion, stronger the acid. So after firing H plus, COO minus is formed. This is having equal RS, stable ban gaya. Moreover, it is getting hydrogen bonding. Yeah, hydrogen bonding ban gai. And hydrogen bonding will stabilize this anion very much. As a result, it will be in high tendency to fire H+. This kind of situation is not in this particular compound. Ye ortho, you know, this can give ortho effect, but can it give hydrogen bonding? Can it give electronic factors? No. That's why this is more acidic. This is our K order. Achha. Some of you might be wondering, sir, you have K order, what is this? I saw this yesterday, I gave a question to my students, they were like, K, what is it? How will Sometimes, instead of asking acidic strength, they write K order. Acidic strength or K order are the same thing. So, never get confused on that as well, okay? Okay, so you have understood that hydrogen bonding has stable. Bana diya. This is nothing but electronic factor. In electronic factors, we can also have inductive effect, mesomeric effects, more to it, we will see in the next session. हम questions करेंगे heavy. आप पढ़ के आइएगा. Ortho effect clear हो गया है. अब हम देखेंगे कि ये कैसे apply किया जाएगा. In the next session. So I hope to see you in the next session. That's it. यहाँ पे ortho effect के लिए फिलहाल. ठीक है. And if you have loved the way I have done it, ठीक है. Make sure and you want to know more. मतलब आप ज़्यादा जानना चाहते हैं ज़्यादा. And you want to learn physics, chemistry, maths from us. Do join the crash course, okay? You have to be given everything, questions would be given, concepts would be given, tests would be taken, discussions will be happening, okay? And yes, if you want to buy it, I have a very good news to, to, for you. You use this coupon code HMCC, you will get a heavy discount and you will get it around 7,599, okay? So make sure you be a part of Vedantu and learn from the best, okay? And if you have loved it, do share and subscribe, okay? Like, karo, share, karo, subscribe, karo, or spread the word that ortho effect has been taught here. That's it for me today. See you next time.